Hi folks, Phil from Productive here. In this video I want to take you through a solution where I have a smart sheet full of data that I'm extracting into Power BI, building a report and then embedding that report back into a smart sheet dashboard to give a much richer data experience than you can currently get using smart sheets dashboarding. Now the one caveat I have from the off is that this is only currently available to Windows users as it leverages the smart sheet live data connector uh, which isn't available as far as I know for Macs. So apologies to Mac users for that. Um, and I also want to say before we get started that um, this is the kind of challenge that we get brought every day at Productive by our clients around the world. So if you have your own challenges that you, you need help with, do not hesitate to get in contact with us. And with that said, let's take a look. As with any good solution, we start with a smart sheet. Now this data is taken from Strava and it's imported into this smart sheet using a Zapier automation that I've put together. It's a really nice data source because it has been updated every single day. It is my live activity data and you can see um, I'm recording on the 2nd of March and this is my run from this morning. Um, it was biblically wet and horrible, uh, but the data is in here now and I've put in a couple of extra columns just to help with formatting and consistency across all the different activity types. But largely this is just the raw data as is taken from Strava and dumped into Smartsheet. The next step is to take this and put it into Power BI. And the, the best source of information for doing this is actually a community post that I put together when I originally created this solution. I created it about six months or so ago, uh, back in August uh, 2023. Um, and I used this, uh, this post to document what I was doing, partly to share with the community and, uh, and do a good thing, but also because I wasn't gonna remember how I'd done this after doing it once, the, the connector's set up. So if I, so anyone ever asked me to come and do it again, this is actually my, my go-to to, to understand how I need to do it again, because it's not the sort of thing that you just do every single day and it becomes like muscle memory. In this user guide, I've, taken this, uh, I've gone through the steps, but I've also referenced out to some Smartsheet documentation that's actually pretty good, um, that shows you where to get the data connector from and how to set it up. So there are a couple of um, parts of this. There's a download with a couple of links, and then there's also a section on configuring the, uh, configuring the connection. Um, it's, it's a little bit technical in detail, but you should be able to go through it. it, it it's something that I managed to, uh, to follow quite easily, and I have put some notes against it. Um, and then as we go down, um, we, we then start to get into the Power BI side of, side of things and, and uh, how we connect that up. Um, and, then, and then you get onto creation. So just work through this from top to bottom. And if you do find anything that, uh, that puzzles you, do get in contact. If you found any errors, obviously do comment on them as well. Uh, but hopefully this, this is something that's nice and easy to follow and it will, it will get you to a point where you've at least got some data connected into Power BI and, and you can start to work with it. Over into Power BI now, and this is where I put together my report. Uh, I, I did this, I had a couple of goes at it just to see how much information I could, I could cram onto a single report. And part of the reason for this is that I wanted to create a dashboard that was, was quite dense, could be viewed without scrolling. Uh, it's easier to demo that way, but I'm, you know, I'm not a data scientist, not a data engineer. I'm not, I'm not somebody who, who spends a lot of time thinking about, you know, how data visualizations uh, need, to, need to be put together to tell a good story. Really what I tried to do is just cram as much information on here as possible in a way that is still semi-meaningful at least and can be demoed quite easily. Um, and then it was just a case of setting up um, uh, an, an embeddable link uh, and getting that and putting it into a Smartsheet dashboard. Now in this dashboard, all there is, is a title widget, three image widgets, and one um, web content widget that includes the, uh, the embeddable link to the Power BI uh, report. And everything else in here is just contained within that. And we've got all sorts of different uh, functionality within here. We're looking back about nine years. So a lot of activity in here over the course of that time, so a few peaks and troughs. Um, so immediately I, you know, I, I'm able to scroll through that data. I can select which year I want to look at. So if we looked at 2023 last year, we got four years worth of data there. Uh, all the different distances that I did and the quantity of activities as well. And then we, it starts to filter in these other views based on the types of activity. So you can see that I had a very, very strong year of running last year, 269 activities, 99.63% of what I did was running. 
Whereas if we go to 2024 now, you can see that actually it's a little bit more split because I um, I recently had a, a holiday and you can see that the map is now updating and showing that I went to France, which was actually last week, uh, did some snowboarding as well. So there's a little bit of variety in there. All sorts of other bits we can do. Uh, we can change scales. Uh, we can zoom around the map a little bit more. Um, and if I if I clear this filter out, actually, what we'll see um, on the map is that there are a couple of notable things on here. We have some activity over in Washington State. That was Smart Sheet Engage back in uh, September 2023. Uh, we also have some stuff going on in Scotland, uh, which was a run that Rich and I did along the East Highland Way. Um, but you can see that the majority of my activity is all based in around here. So this kind of heat map thing is really cool. Something you won't even get close to trying to uh, replicate using Smartsheet's core functionality. Um, and once again, the ability to then to then just cut and filter and uh, just if we, well, what, what could we do? Stand up paddling, where did I do that? Let's see if it actually shows us. Yep, so this is down near Seaford. Um, and this was a, a single activity that I did in May last year. And uh, what else have we got? We've got my uh, annual annual distance covered across all activities um, in 2018, 2,156 miles. And I just pipped that last year, uh, 2,168 miles. And as I mentioned, the majority of that was running as well. So really good year last year. And um, yeah, this is just a bit of a showcase to show you what you can do. Once you get that data into Power BI, that's obviously a much more... Um, tailored tool for, for, for data analysis. And, and if you can get um, get a widget back into your Smartsheet dashboard, you can combine it with other reports and, and bits. So you can still use the Smartsheet dashboarding capability, uh, but you can provide more, uh, more tailored insights and more interactive experiences for people. I do hope this has been of interest to you. Do check out the description where I will be putting links to the dashboard, to the guides, and even to my Strava, should you wish to follow me. And do not hesitate to get in contact with us if you've got any questions about this solution. I look forward to um, taking you through more exciting solutions in future videos. Do take care of yourselves and I'll catch you soon.